Hello everyone, my name is Jasmine McCoy and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for clicking in to drop by, but if you're a returner, it is always nice to have you back. This video, I am doing something that I know one of my subscribers or one of my followers asked me to do. I cannot remember where, it has also been a long time since that request is made, but I'm, I'm working on finding where that is. If I do find it, I'll put it here. But this is a sorority tag where I'm answering some basic questions about the sorority that I'm in. So the first question, what is the name of the sorority? Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. That is question number one. Question number two, when was it founded? January 15th, 1908. If on your timeline every year you see a bunch of pink and green flooding it on J15, January 15th, that is why we were founded on January 15th, 1908, 114 years ago. Question number three, where was it founded? Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated was founded in Howard University, Washington, D.C., in Minor Hall. You cannot go visit Minor Hall anymore. It was torn down. But when I went to Minor, to Howard, for uh, one of the events, Founders Day celebration, uh, they have a plaque saying, like, this is where Minor Hall used to stand. Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, the beginnings of it were thought in this very area. So you can go and look at that plaque if you would like. Question number four, what is the purpose of Alpha Kappa Alpha? Well, the purpose of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated is to cultivate and encourage high scholastic and ethical standards, to promote unity and friendship amongst college women, to study and help alleviate problems concerning girls and women in order to improve their social stature, to maintain a progressive interest in college life, and to be of service to all mankind. For those of you that are confused about why I did that, look at that, that is something that you will see in any and every undergraduate probate if you go to one. Now that we're opening back up, now that um, undergraduate chapters are being able to have that again, that is something that you will definitely see at least 15 or 20 times that night. That is just something that it's just something that we do. It makes it more performative and it, it's just a part of the culture. Question number five, what is the current theme? And the reason why it's current theme and not just theme is because every four years our theme changes. But right now it is exemplifying excellence through sustainable service under our international president and CEO, Dr. Glenda Glover. In literally just one month we're going to be getting ready to change our theme over to whatever it is that Danette Anthony Reed has because she will be taking that spot in our new chain of command. So as of right now it's exemplifying excellence through sustainable service. In short this is the excellence administration. Question number six is what are the program targets? Well we have five of them. Number one is HBCU for Life, A Call to Action. Number two is Women's Health Care and Wellness. Number three is Building Your Economic Legacy. Number four is The Arts. And number five is Global Impact. We do programs for all five of those targets all year round. It is a truly beautiful thing. Question seven, what are the colors? It is not just pink and green. That is the like large umbrella for what everyone knows Women of Alpha Kappa Alpha to wear, pink and green. But more specifically, it is salmon pink and apple green. Question number eight, what is the hand sign? So if you see any picture of Women of Alpha Kappa Alpha on Facebook, Instagram, whatever it may be, they are holding a pinky, just like this. Holding up their pinky nice and high. Question number nine, what is a ski wee? Well, if you are ever out in public and two AKA see each other from across the room, they might make this sound. And it is a way for us to say, I see you, I recognize you, 
pretty girl wearing 20 pearls across the room. I am also a pretty girl wearing 20 pearls and we're sisters. That is essentially what it is. It is just a sound that we make uh, to recognize each other, but also in celebration of things. So at the end of maybe when uh, a person is being recognized for their silver, and we'll get to that later, being recognized for silver 25 years, uh, at the end, everyone might make a big ski wee in the room. Or when someone is finishing getting initiated, we might make a big ski wee around the room. So that is what a ski wee is. Question number 10. How many members of Alpha Kappa Alpha are there? Around the world, we have over 300,000 members. All over the world. Yes, not just in the United States, but all over the world. We're pretty big. That is a lot of impact, a lot of college educated black women doing the work of Alpha Kappa Alpha. Which brings us to question number 11. What do you all do? We do a lot. So as I mentioned, we have the five different program targets. We do programs every week, every day, every month for those targets. We also have our mobile mammography unit that goes around the United States, the continental United States bringing uh, HIV STD tests, bringing vaccines, bringing obviously mammograms to people who need it around and in uh, underserved areas. We also have the Mississippi Health Project, part two that we did earlier in this year. We have just so many things that we do. And if you want to know more about it, you could always go to the um, to the chapter locator, see what chapter is in your area, and then go and follow them on Instagram. Go and check out their website. See what activities, events, and programs are happening in your community. That way you can see, oh wow, all of this is happening right in my back door. We do quite a bit as women of Alpha Kappa Alpha. Question 12, where was I initiated? I was initiated into the lovely and uppermost Lambda Upsilon chapter, which is a city chapter servicing Harvard, MIT, and Wellesley. Yes, Harvard does have an AKA chapter. Some people are always very um, surprised when they hear that, but we have a chapter. It is alive and well. You can check them out on Instagram, Facebook, and see all of the amazing things that they're doing. Question 13, what? was my line name. My line name was Azalea. It is a flower that you give to someone whom you love and respect. And that is something that I will always treasure and carry with me for the rest of the years that I am a AKA. Number 14, what are the opportunities for undergraduate leadership? Obviously, there's opportunities for leadership at the chapter level. Uh, I did so many things at the chapter level because at the time that I was an undergraduate, we had a very small chapter. So I was able to serve as the standards chair, the connections chair, the, uh, the secretary, the hostess, and the chaplain. So those are the five opportunities that I was able to take on as an undergraduate. You could also be the treasurer or the president and the vice president of your chapter. There are so many opportunities within your chapter that I'm sure you would be able to rise to if you decided to run, be a candidate, and get elected. But there are other opportunities for undergraduate leadership that are another level up. You could be a cluster coordinator. Regions are cut into clusters. Clusters need leadership, so you could be a cluster coordinator, and you could also serve on regional committees. Maybe you are good at technology. You could serve on the technology committee. You could serve on the hostess committee. But even beyond that, there are other things that you could do beyond the regional level. You could be at the international level. And well, Jasmine, there aren't very many undergraduates at the leadership at the for leadership at the international level. True. But that doesn't mean that you can't be one of them. You could be your region's INC rep. 
the International Nominating Committee. They're the ones that make sure that our international election process is done fairly by the book and just cleanly. So you could run for that or be appointed to that. You could also be appointed to one of the other international committees. Maybe you get appointed to the uh, undergraduate to graduate transition um, committee. That could be something that you do or the technology, just a place where you know that your skills would be useful. And finally, you're like, Jasmine, when are you going to get to what you do? Uh, there are positions on the board of directors that are specifically for undergraduate members. You could become the undergraduate member at large. We have two positions for that. Or you could become the international second vice president of the entire sorority. Those are all of the undergraduate leadership positions within the sorority. Which leads us into question 15. You all stay in the sorority after graduation? Yes. We promote something called lifelong active membership. And that lifelong active membership is, it is what it is, it's lifelong. We celebrate people at their 25 year mark, our silver stars. We celebrate at the 50 year mark, our goldens. We celebrate at the 65, our pearls, and the 75, our diamonds. In order to be a diamond, you have to be at least, at least 94 years old. And I have met some diamonds in my life. I've taken pictures with some diamonds, sat next to some diamonds. It's beautiful seeing that they have stayed with the sorority, continued service to all mankind for 75 years. It's truly amazing what they do. And I can only hope that I will live old enough to be a diamond because I already know I'm going to be a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha for the rest of my life. I will always be dedicated to service above all else. It's what I'll do. Question number 16, what are the opportunities for graduate leadership? Well, everything that I said for undergraduate leadership, except, except those, um, those international positions on the board of directors are very different. Obviously they can't be undergraduate members at large or, inter or international second vice president, but they can be regional director, which is kind of like president of the region, if you think about it. You could also be the international treasurer, the international um, secretary, the international parliamentarian. Those are the things that you could do as well as becoming the international first vice president or our international president and CEO. So pretty much the same thing, but with some slight differences at the international level. Question number 17, who are our sisters in Greekdom? Well, those will be the other sororities that make up the Divine Nine. So that includes Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, and Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated. If you've been to Macy's, you've probably seen the sorority dresses or you've seen some kind of um, commercial advertisement for them, maybe a picture on social media. Question number 18. Now that you mention it, what is the Divine Nine? Well, the Divine Nine is the colloquial name for the NPHC. What's the NPHC? The National Panhellenic Council, which is a collective of historically Black fraternities and sororities in the United States. And here are all of them right now. Those are all the amazing just brothers and sisters that I have come to know and love that have always been a part of my life and that just uplift the Black community. We all have the same goal. We just do it slightly differently. And that's a beautiful thing. It makes us all a family. Question number 19. Jasmine, what do you do in the sorority? I already told you my title, the International Second Vice President of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, but essentially that just means that I am a voice for undergraduates on our board of directors and that I support our international president and CEO with the, um, with the promotion of her theme and her program for the entirety that I'm in office because I'm only in office two years. She is in office for four years. So for my two years, I am there to support and uplift her and just ensure that Alpha Kappa Alpha is able to exemplify excellence and reach its highest potential. 
Question number 20, what will you do when you leave this position? I will still be very busy, that is for sure. I am in the middle of applying to medical school, so there will, I'm sure, be some essay that needs to be written or some interview that I need to prepare for. And beyond that, my involvement in Alpha Kappa Alpha, it's not going to stop. My leadership in Alpha Kappa Alpha, it will not stop, it will just change. So that is everything that I have to say. Thank you very much for watching and listening to these 20 questions sorority tag for Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, the first and finest Black Greek letter sorority. And if you have any other questions that you would like me to answer, maybe a 20 questions part two, feel free to put that in the comments. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.